Hi, right, host Eric here. Let's talk about fat people. Sometimes, literally, all the devils are in the details. And sometimes, literally, if you can just get past these couple of obstacles, it's all smooth sailing. When those two combine, you got a fucking frustration bomb laying on your hands. You can see right around the corner it's smooth sailing. You got a couple of barriers here. They seem straightforward enough. The devil is in the details because it turns out those barriers can be incredibly difficult to figure out. Especially if they have communicative difficulties as part of it. That's what I'm going through right now with a woman that I would like to get locked down and make mine forevermore. However, because of a number of different communicative problems, we are both fundamentally making things a lot more difficult than we need to. However, I'm going to focus on the way in which I'm doing so right now so that I can remind myself that I'm a moron. So, understandably, she and I both would like to not commit to anything wholeheartedly until after we have intercourse because you gotta make sure you're compatible there but the problem is I'm trying to pursue a serious relationship that will require her to move down south to here to live with me. I'm trying to figure out if that thing is plausible. Are you actually going to, are you actually freed up currently with your job and other situation to give me a specific timetable about when that's going to be plausible for you so that I can know that this is worth the time and energy to put into. Now, that's what I can get an answer about. I can get an answer about whether or not it's logistically, realistically plausible for her to do the thing that I'm trying to get. She's given me lots of indications that this thing that I want, namely her coming and living here, is plausible. She understands I'm not okay with the long distance relationship thing. I'm not looking for that. So, from my perspective, I'm thinking, why are you trying to get me to come up there without telling me whether or not I'm actually going to attain the thing that I made clear from the very get-go was what I was looking for? I'm not looking for a long-distance relationship. I made that very clear, right? And I get that, obviously, we're going to try, we're, we're going to have to try each other out, try before we buy. Fine. But am I trying with the actual opportunity of buying or not? I, I want to know that, right? If I'm not, then I'm going to go into that like, oh, we're being friends with benefits, fine. I'm still down to come up there and have sex with you. But I'd like to know ahead of time. Does it seem reasonable to people? I don't know. But here's the thing. At some point during the course of this evening, I, I was just like, Eric, oh my God. You chose winning an argument over having sex with this beautiful woman. What the fuck is wrong with you? And the answer is, I was frustrated at not getting my question answered. <sighs> oh, the karma. Oh, the 
thick, disgusting karma. Ah, oh, I mean, literally, the most attractive woman I've ever even imagined possibly I could get with. She's asking me to go have sex with her. And I'm complaining because she's not answering my question about whether or not she's going to live with me afterwards. <laughs> I'm insane. I'm completely insane. And I don't even really need to know that at all. I just don't like the fact that it seems so unreasonable that I can't. <laughs> Eric, look at yourself. I think I can, I think maybe I can salvage it. I don't know. We'll see. I think probably I could. I, I have a thought that basically she wanted me to go up there and fucking take her. You know, like be like, okay, look, you're saying I'm indecisive. You want me to go convince you, basically. And that's what I should go do instead of worrying about whether or not you're answering my questions the way that I want you to answer them. I'm so sorry about that if you happen to be watching this. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I have no explanation for myself. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I'm fucking insane. <laughs> 